Welcome back to Metro Residential, everyone. I'm Kathy Hobbs. Today, I'm two hours north of New York City in the beautiful Hudson Valley, where this little country cottage is in desperate need of one of my design recipes. In the coming weeks, I'm going to redesign this cottage room by room, telling you what I did, how I did it, and giving you all of the resource information so that you can design it yourself, do it yourself, and buy it on your own. So let's go inside. Let's take a look. This 1950s country cottage is small on size, but big on potential. With only 800 square feet, the cottage has a living room, master bedroom, second bedroom kitchen, and a bathroom. This entire cottage is full of wonderful renovation opportunities. We're gonna focus on design recipes for three rooms, the living room, the master bedroom, and the second bedroom. Here in the living room, these gorgeous wood exposed beams to me really exemplify the charm of this country cottage and are truly a spectacular architectural design feature. This is what the cottage looked like when the owners purchased it. You can see why they want my help. Rooms filled with furniture that didn't make sense and a bathroom that was, let's just say, less than inviting. And with a tight budget, I've got a lot of work to do. Now the architectural bones of the space are really firmly rooted in the exposed wood beams that are structural to the whole cottage. But I also think that we can add a little bit more architectural detail and charm. This is what I had in mind. Installing beadboard all along the walls here, something like this, a railing, and then beadboard throughout in order to really tie in some of that country cottage feel, plus a fresh coat of paint. When it comes to renovating, painting is an easy and affordable update. My design recipe for the master bedroom is to really create a cozy cottage feeling using soft blues and white and thick soft fabrics with subtle patterns like this one. It's part silk and part cotton and just really, really beautiful. Also this gorgeous fabric with intricate needlepoint detail. I think it would make just a perfect duvet cover. And then we can add some other colors like chocolate, mustard with a little bit of gray accents and creams. All these would make lovely gorgeous pillows for the bed. Just beautiful accent pillows in order to accentuate the room. As a professional interior designer and home stager, I found the home's tiny second bedroom the most challenging. This second bedroom is full of possibilities, but it's lacking in architectural detail. My design recipe, let's create some. My vision for the space is to add a chair railing across the entire room, creating an instant architectural element. Below the chair railing, we're going to install this gorgeous Asian-inspired wallpaper, bringing in some eggplants and burnt orange tones, adding an instant texture and graphic element to the room. And then above the chair railing, we're going to add a fresh coat of paint, picking up some of the jewel and gold tones from the wallpaper. Now that I've created my design, it's time to get to work. <laughs> 